opened in 1925, the Tynemouth Lido was a popular tourist attraction for over 50 years, raising Tynemouth's reputation as a major seaside destination and hosting a number of events. By the 1980s, the Lido had fallen into disuse and disrepair due to the rise of overseas holidays, and in 1996, the utility buildings were demolished and the pool filled with concrete and rocks in order to create a rock pool. However, the experiment failed and the Lido's remains became a prominent eyesore. Well, my memories of Time Earth Pool are from the 50s and 60s when I was a child. I used to come down from Wall's End in the train with my parents and it was a big day out to go to the pool. You go in with, through the turnstiles and it was like a magic place really. It was always the exciting prospect of maybe the waves coming over the top if the tide was in and you really wanted it to happen, you know. The fountain was fantastic, it was great because you could climb in the fountain and have a bit of fun in there. There wasn't another pool in the vicinity and it opened in the May and closed in, closed in September, so everyone made full use of it, it only had the sea and this pool. There was an, indoor, an outdoor freshwater one in North Shields, closed again over the winter, opened in May, closed in September. Very happy memories. Before I started, a teacher went there when I was a young girl. It was always crowded. They had, um, what are they called? Fashion parades, beauty parades, baby parades. Everything took place on there because it was built, you know, with the surrounds where you could seat lots of people. They always used to have the Miss Tynemouth bathing beauty contest here. And these poor ladies would be standing in the bikinis and things being judged and it was always cold but the pool was always full it was always used by lots of people when i was um, a child we held lots of swimming galas here uh, and i was still in primary school and i went the diving three years running but we also held the galas each year for quite a long time after that, always in the outdoor pool because we didn't have anything else. And at that by then, I could type, and I used to type all the certificates on the side of the pool, and as the children won the event, I could type the names in and hand the certificates over. When I talk to people the same age as me, most of them remember having season tickets and going for the whole of the summer holidays and things like that. So it was well used, even though it was so bitterly cold. In August 2012, North Tyneside Council announced new plans for the space. But this drew protests and calls to restore the Lido to its former glory. I remember it going out of use and I remember it having a lot of damage and it being reported on the news but I, I wasn't aware that it had been demolished or filled in. I remember feeling when they closed it, when they knocked everything down, I remember feeling quite sad about it. Um, I think it looks worse now than it did even when it was just a, a closed down swimming pool. Um, I think it would be nice if they could do something with it. A group called Friends of Tynemouth Pool formed to lead the way and is currently in talks with the council and various potential finances about plans to regenerate the Lido for a new generation.